Hello, beautiful people. I have some really good news today, but first, this is not meant to bully, harass, or harm anyone. Anything I say is to be taken as a joke. Don't take me serious, and if you do, that sucks because I'm not a lawyer. A couple of days ago, I released a video showing the aftermath of what happened when a Karen threw a skateboard into the river. Unfortunately, nobody had any information about what was actually going on during or after this incident. It was just one of those situations that really pissed me off enough to make a video just to get this information out there to see if anybody could help at all. So a few days go by and I actually got the information I need to make a solid video and give you guys some satisfying information. Westward actually ended up making an article on this whole situation and gave away a little too much information and today I'm going to be here just to read what they've given the public. So any information that is on this video right now is already available to the public. I am not doxing, I am not doing anything inappropriate. I'm simply just giving information that I found off the internet that just so happens to be extremely true. Westward states that before the video started capturing the action, the woman threw a skateboard belonging to an 11-year-old child into the South Pilate River. According to witnesses and an incident report from the Denver Police Department, the conflict happened on the evening of Friday, June 28th. The dispute began when the woman asked the boys to stop skating, saying that it was upsetting her. Even though there's no posted signs prohibiting skateboarding in the area, according to the incident report at least, the woman claimed a skateboard went near her, her head specifically, which prompted her to take the kid's board and throw it into the water. The kid was not involved in the interaction, but his board was just sitting on the ground nearby. As I said in the last video, the kid did nothing wrong. The 11 year old did nothing wrong. And yet, for some reason, Karen just decided to throw his skateboard into the river because it was nearby. What a fucking Oh, and it gets so much worse. Check this out. At one point, a 13-year-old boy tells the woman to look how you made this kid feel, pointing to a crying kid. She then runs up to the 13-year-old, grabbing him, yanking on his shirt, and appearing to swing her fist towards his head while calling him a punk-ass bitch. She's later shown pushing the 13-year-old trying to snatch skateboards from two other teens' hands and running after the person filming, attempting to take his phone, which we can see right here. The 11-year-old's mother, Stacia, says that her son had just purchased a new deck three days earlier with the money from his 11th birthday. The entire board cost nearly $300. Stacia agreed not to press charges against the woman as long as she pays to replace the skateboard. She paid $75 as of July 3rd, so she's got a lot to go. But this was before Stacia saw the interaction. It was frightening, she says, explaining that police only told her about the skateboard being thrown into the water, not the attacks. What if a bystander wouldn't have calmed her down? How far would it have escalated? I didn't know her behavior was like that. Stacia identified the woman in the video as Teresa Romanski, who did not respond to multiple outreach attempts from Westward. A Facebook profile under Romanski's name appeared to have been deleted shortly after a Westward reporter messaged the account. It's crazy to me that the cops just let her go home after this. They didn't arrest her and she has no charges pending against her. Which really fucking sucks because she literally on camera assaulted children. And not just that, but now she's literally able to hide just by deleting her Facebook account and now nobody has any way of contacting her. So towards the end of the video we can see these two bystanders come and talk to the Karen, calming the whole situation down, but let's get their side of the story. I am going to refer to them as Taylor and David because that is their names. Two bystanders who intervene near the end of the video, Taylor and David, say that the woman seemed obviously intoxicated. Taylor and David arrived on the scene as the woman threw the kid's skateboard into the river, so they didn't see what came before it. But they say that the other witnesses told them that the woman was the aggressor from the start. I was telling her to get her stuff and go, Taylor says. She was very stuck on those kids are being assholes and I want them to be punished. 
She kept yelling over my shoulder at the kids. At that point, I started to pick her bags up from the river and move them to a different location. She had a bag full of alcohol. It was clear that she had been drinking. Taylor and David kept the woman away from the boys as they waited for the police, whom the woman had called earlier. Taylor stayed with the woman while David tried to comfort the young skateboarders, getting a recap on the incident from their perspectives. She was telling them to leave repetitively. They insisted to her that they have skated here before and they are allowed to skate here. David recounts the boys' explanation. One of the kids told her she had stinky feet, and that made her really mad. So what I'm getting from this is Taylor and David showed up to the scene after everything pretty much started. The skateboard got thrown into the river, that's pretty much when they showed up. But notice, they showed up after and there were witnesses before. So everybody saying, damn, they couldn't have intervened sooner, the other people didn't intervene. They intervened and they got here after. So I want to say thank you so much to these two. Thank you so much for actually intervening and showing that you gave a fuck. If, if you guys didn't do what you did, who knows what this Karen would have gone out of her way to do. Or what these kids would have done to the Karen. She could have ended up in the river. Who knows? Luckily, a independent skateboard company named 303 Boards donated a board to the young kid. Thank you guys so much for that. I know nobody online is going to say anything about it, but you guys are some real ones. Thank you so much for replacing the kid's board. And to the drunk Karen, put your fucking shoes on. Anyway, this is the second video of this series. There should be three. If she ever gets convicted of anything, I'll let you guys know. I'll keep everyone updated. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And a very special thank you to William Arrington. Dude, thank you so much for subscribing. I love you, bro. Thank you. And to everyone else, I love you, and I'll see you next time.